what's up gang <laughs> i hope everybody is well shout out to my youtube gang my discord family thank you all so much for your love and support and welcome 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 to all those who have just found my channel child you are not here by coincidence feel free to like comment share also um go to my website if you want to know more about mama magical magicalflowerstarot.com child so yes anyway y'all we're gonna we, we seen the mess we seen it we seen the stuff between erica and erica mena and spice she said racial slurs to her i gotta be very careful about what i say on this video because i'm not trying to get youtube on my channel <laughs> but child it's a mess it's a mess it caused a lot of emotional triggers in people so i don't even got to go into detail y'all kind of know what happened there was a fight between the two of them spice said something to erica to piss her off about her child we already know that's a trigger right there with any mother whether you a good one or a bad one we know that we're not gonna act like we don't you know you know then spice said you know then she came back because she was very hurt erica said something that was very racial you know towards spice and talking basically you know <clears throat> that was indicative of her complexion being dark you know and we know that that word monkey has a history you know in the african-american community or those who have african descent and i'm not talking about descent way 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 back i'm talking about close descent because <laughs> we ain't about to have that type of debate either you know that's a whole nother video a whole nother conversation so anyway y'all let's just pull some cards we're going to see the current energy with erica mena we're going to see how spice is feeling child we're just going to see how does safari feel with him being a black person you know so we're going to see what comes out child Erica Mena, Erica Mena, Erica Mena. I've already called the spirits down and prayed. So the ancestors, the spirit guides are here. Show us the energy that surrounds Erica Mena at this time. Spirit, how is she feeling? Child, do y'all think she regretful? How do y'all think she feels, child? Do you think she's standing on what she said? Jealous. Hmm. Intuition. Learn a lesson. Oh, so she's standing on a child this year. Do you boo? Initiate. So listen. <laughs> she is standing on how she feels because she don't feel like she started it, right? She doesn't not mind you. I don't watch the show, so y'all feel free to let me know. Tune me in into the comments, child. But she don't feel like she started it. I guess it's jealous rooted. Like I said, once again, I didn't watch the show. Maybe somebody was jealous about something someone had going on. And it kind of triggered this whole, you know, fight between the two of them. But Learn the Lesson Reverse talks about karma. It talks, the card specifically says, learn the lesson or you repeat it. Now, this is interesting because I did see some comments that this is not Erica's first time making those derogatory racial slurs excuse me name calling y'all let me know in the comments but she's very um it looks like she kind of standing down on what she said break up so we already know this happiness is interesting we always hope people find a happiness and to find their way eventually but this breakup is definitely indicative of her being fired from the show play chess not checkers hmm all right now so we're gonna listen we're gonna see i feel like erica feels like she was set up especially with this play chess not check checkers make your next move your best move don't get played this is a card that um holds the energy of strategy i do feel like she was you know y'all already know what i mean by that oh the comments the editing y'all i'm sorry the editing of the video it didn't show everything you know this is what she said first and i said i feel like she may speak on this eventually danger watch out the conflict between them is still there <laughs> hence why she ain't let it go she does not feel you know a regret there with the lesson reverse but then we have this magic magic reverse is manipulation so once again i do feel like she feels that she was kind of in her way her own way however she you know rationalizes what happened to her how she's processing it that she was kind of treated unfairly in this situation and she shouldn't have been the only one to deal with these consequences that she's feeling right protection you may need to protect yourself so it's still serious between them we have dangerous and protection i don't know y'all 
you think it might be a part two of that little rumble they had remember with the i remember back in the day with the black ink crew when sky came when when rashida came back to sky i know y'all remember that <laughs> sky was open arms too she thought they was about to be friends child so they better be careful somebody did somebody get a um protection protective order spirit is showing me okay so that is erica's energy let's just kind of tap into um ice just to see what cards come out and then we're gonna go to the tarot to see if we can get a little bit more details like we be doing child <laughs> spice 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 show us spices energy how does she feel in this moment how is she feeling about what happened because we know things get filmed you know <laughs> way earlier than from, we, from when we see it. Hmm. Look like she may be willing to let it go. Hmm. Toxic as fuck. She is too, though. She lacks boundaries. And just, okay, a liar. Okay, so this is interesting, this fucking liar card to me. Because what this is speaking to me is, like how Erica cards came out, she kind of feel like she was played. It was, she was kind of set up to look like the bad guy in that moment. I feel like that if they do speak out on it, uh, Spice is going to deny it. She's going to say that this it wasn't. She wasn't played. What y'all saw is exactly what it went down. She's a liar. She deserved it. But it looked like Spice is in a space where she can let it go. We got split. How was her spiritual life? Does she talk about spiritual stuff? We talk. It, it, it's like cleanse. I'm going to let it go. Whatever it is, what it is. With that level up, that didn't look too good. I mean, Spice got some love now, but I'm interested to see if this will boost her career any type of way or because at the same time this even though she didn't get fired i feel like that this is kind of messing with her business just being seen in a bad light how this has affected her just by fighting and portraying her energy and herself the way that she portrays it on tv so it's not it's, it's still to, if she didn't get fired it still took a hit on her career is what i'm trying to say because of her toxic ways as well it's almost guilty <laughs> energy abundance so it's like she's trying to move forward with her career but this did take a toll on her career and i feel like that's the part that she regrets about the situation but guilty uh she feel like yeah i could have handled it but shit bitch you, excuse me oh i didn't mean to say that you shouldn't have said what you said to me you know you shouldn't have came at me like that whatever it is y'all gotta tell me in the comments once again because i didn't watch the season what's the root cause but i do feel like it's some jealousy involved somewhere somehow there's some jealousy and we know that it's just not between these two people other people are involved but she like listen i'm trying to move on i'm trying to level up she's definitely going to play that role of you know she definitely is appreciating the support that's what i'll say mm, pregnant okay so but we know that pregnancy could be physical or it could be spiritual um we know pregnancy when it on from a spiritual aspect this definitely talks about new beginnings transformation so it looks like she might be trying to come out of this image we gonna see though trying to kind of clean up her image because she was an artist before love and hip-hop so it kind of looks like that's the way she's looking forward to the situation trying to look for it and move forward okay y'all so let's go to the tarot y'all because you know the tarot gonna give us some details and it's gonna tell it okay so i'm just going to kind of See more about Erica Mena's energy right now. How is she truly feeling? The news has broke. Everybody's, you know, giving their opinion. She has turned off her comments on Instagram, child. How is Erica feeling at this time, Spirit Erica Mena? Once again, y'all, this kind of gonna be a short. I don't want this to be too long. Just kind of want to see what comes out. Mm. there it go <laughs> that's how she really feel it's like she feel these ways but she's still kind of stubborn okay first and foremost mentally she's effed up mentally she's stressed out but i feel like it's not just about that it's about several things but this is really stressing her ten of wands is like that burden on her back <laughs> that burden on her back you know, she to her career has took a huge shit with this, the star reverse, that star dim or falling star. Remember, she had a, um, an acting career. Um, she has some Tubi video movies. We're going to see how that has impacted her career by getting fired from VH1. 
Um, she's just not stable. She's definitely not stable in her mind and her heart. And this talks about a loss of money. She lost money too. Five of Pentacles talks about a financial ruin, a strain or a loss. It's a very miserable energy. Um, she's experiencing people who she thought would kind of stand behind her, you know, by her side, um, has not. Um, a lot of people have turned their backs on her. At least some, I won't even, who cares about the majority, the people that she cared about. A few people have done this to her, but her mind is really all over the place. Um, she definitely has lost sleep over this situation. And this, once again, she lost control and she knows that. She knows that she loses control. But there's still like a stubbornness with her. Yeah, she really lost some money. Okay, so this is not going to completely, you know, it's not like we'll never see Erica again. She's going to definitely continue to work hard. I think she's going to start more focusing on her acting career, honestly. I still think that she's, I think that's what she's going to start focusing on. Um, yeah, so Ten of Pentacles, she still has a lot invested in, you know, her, as far relates to her businesses her careers the things that she really wants to do she's not going to give up on that but she definitely has lost money and she's going to have to deal with this this does not look good on her resume child period make no, no mistake she's definitely not in that unbothered energy she's bothered <laughs> so we kind of see you know and it's funny because i really didn't see but you know what? That Nine of Swords, it's like she's in denial. That's what I'm saying with her because that Nine of Swords is very indicative of guilt, deep guilt and shame. But it's like she's still telling herself, well, I did what I did. So you know how we can kind of get into that trying to psych ourselves out when we know we fucked up? Sorry for my language. That's kind of how she's feeling. She she does. She And even if it's just because, you know, how it's affecting her career, she, that, if she feels nothing else about shame or guilt or regret. It's definitely because the toll that it's going to take out on it has taken out on her career. Okay, so um, let's look at Spice's energy just through the tarot. I want to see if we can get a little bit more details. Spice, show, Spice, show us her energy, spirit. How was Spice feeling? I don't know. With Spice, it's, 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 it just seemed like. She's a little bit more truly unbothered. Maybe because she's not the one that got fired. I don't know, child. <laughs> like I said, maybe she, because it does seem like spiritually, Spice is a spiritual person. I'm seeing that in this card. The way she's spiritual, hmm. I'm not going to speak on that, but it does look like she is a very in tune person. So maybe she's using that as a, as a modality to heal. I don't know. <laughs> but it does seem like it. Now, it definitely shows that she does feel a sense that she could have done better she could have handled that situation better um she was in her lower self in that moment too and she was just out of control and she still be talking shit about erica too even though she's healed but it's like she got a very stubborn way about herself as well i'm not gonna say healed i'm sorry i'm taking that back but it's like that's the approach more but once again maybe because she's not the one that got fired you know i can see that definitely being a factor Mm, the star with her she definitely she lost control too so she like i said she is still impacted she might not feel as as low as erica seems to be feeling with this because they're two different women and people first of all people process things different but the chariot and the star reverse lets us know that she definitely wished that she would have handled that better she has some regret on her end for sure because she is also a businesswoman herself and she has also had a career that she has worked so hard for but the damage is done pour some more see what comes out yeah so she queen of wands yes yeah, she definitely got her damn ways too mm-hmm the tempers reverse so she's unbalanced in her ways too so don't get it twisted she's very unbalanced in her ways too but i feel like she does feel a sense of um, gratification by the way these cards have been coming out for her that erica did get fired but i'm gonna ask that specifically how does she feel spirit how does spice feel about erica being fired how does she feel about erica being okay we got one card how does she truly feel about what happened to erica were they friends, y'all, at one point? That's what I had heard, child. Mm. 
look like she feel like she you know she feels like it's an important situation but hey it is what it is it is it is what it is <laughs> she said hey the death card does represent endings her being fired moving on she, yeah she feels like she got some stubbornness with that five of cups when it's reversed that's usually somebody kind of still stuck on a past situation so that hurt i mean i don't expect her to be you know kind of just you know dismiss being called that i don't i'm not sure if any of us really would but i could be just you know projecting my own opinion in that particular matter but she definitely still feels some type of way about what was said towards her that three of wands energy feel like hey she manifested that shit on herself that is how she feeling and that's what happened she said i make her say that she said that shit and, you know and that's why things happen the way they happen with her now she got fired hmm like that was a short you know to a source talks about choices and decisions and we all have them <clears throat> so let's see uh i do want to ask a little bit about um uh, her future erica's future as far as her career goes, Spirit, show us the energy surrounding her future as far as her career goes. And like I said, I do see her still trying to, okay, strive. We got cars falling out, so let's see what this is. Mm-hmm, like I thought, yep. Oh, yeah, she's going to still go, and she still feels like she has options. She still has her connections, and, you know, in the entertainment world. She's going to keep moving. Queen of Wands, she's going to still continue to, you know, dig deep and find her confidence somewhere. She's a very fiery and passionate woman. She has options, and she's definitely going to use her use them. It's like she's been at the um, drawing board. She's back at the drawing board right now for her career. She said, I'm not over with. I'm going to still strive. I'm going to still be happy. I have children. I still had a, a career before this all happened, and I'm going to keep moving with it. But she's still fucked up about it. <laughs> For now, I'm fucked up about it. <laughs> yes, yeah, she is hurt. Hmm. She does feel very, very hurt by um, Spice, though. She does feel a sense of betrayal from her, like backstabbing. Y'all feel me in, child. She does feel that way. Erica, she does suffer a lot mentally. And it looks like as much confidence as she has, she has equal amount of self-esteem issues. But y'all tell me in the comments, y'all. There it goes. That strength reverse tells it all. Hmm. As much confidence and fire and passion she has, is she's very vulnerable. She's a very vulnerable person. And she goes through a lot mentally. So, okay, y'all. Like I said, I kind of didn't want the devil. Hmm. She needs to be careful of the people that she deals with, too. This also could talk about addictions in her life. She needs to be careful. She involves herself in a lot of toxic partnerships and relationships as well. Almost voluntarily. And I see she's still going to maybe struggle with that for a little while. But this is not the end of Erica Mena. In other words, also, the cards definitely show that. So, you guys, I love you guys. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. If you have any more comments, if y'all want to follow this more, if you have any more questions, definitely drop them down. And we'll do a part two, child. We will do a part two. Once again, shout out to y'all that have ordered the Mama Magical Oracle deck. She is almost gone again, child. So, make sure y'all get to the website. Y'all have really showed out, though. Y'all keep selling her out in the Mystic Love deck that jealous hell yeah level up yeah they both might she they both they still got some evolving to do as we all do child and it's not me that's what the car is saying so i love you guys be well gang y'all be cool out here be safe and we got some more content coming because they talking crazy in the news y'all news again y'all about this c word and y'all know what i mean child <laughs> about the c word so till next time gang peace and blessings be well